Hi, everyone. Um, so how appropriate that my talk on how to fail is number zero on the schedule. So yeah, that's fun. Um, so it may seem pretty obvious to a lot of people that making mistakes in your code or having bugs in your code is common, and you shouldn't be afraid of them. But I'm a chemist by training originally, and making mistakes uh, in the food industry or making mistakes in pharmaceuticals can cost a company millions, you can cause lawsuits, and not to mention every time you make a mistake, even if it's just spelling, uh, you have to sign and date and then have your manager sign and date. And if you mess up the date, yes, you have to cross that out. Sign and date that too. So I'm not going to say it was traumatizing, but it was a little bit traumatizing. So um, when I started coding, I did most of my learning by myself um, online, as I'm sure a lot of you have done um, most of your learning by yourself. But missing out on a lot of conversations, I didn't realize that it was OK to make mistakes. So one of the biggest things that I had to learn as a developer was how to make mistakes. That is really scary because one drop in chemistry can be the difference between seeing a clear solution or seeing something bright pink or blue or black. And um, you have to be precise within one one hundredth or one one thousandth at the minimum sometimes. So learning how to make mistakes, that was an interesting experience. When I started in the industry, I think I made my uh, manager pretty frustrated because I would rather show him nothing than to show him something that what I considered wrong or a misunderstanding. Um, I didn't realize reading forums um, and such learning on my own that making mistakes was okay because often you see comments on that say things like, well, why would you make that simple error? Or it's really simple, you should do this. And that kind of discourages somebody like me who's so afraid to make mistakes and so afraid of failing because it could take months to uh, correct that mistake. It makes someone like me really scared to ask questions because maybe nobody else in the room um, has had that problem. Um, what I learned from taking a workshop this past weekend was everybody in the room was afraid, like had the same mistake, but everybody in the room was also afraid to say that they had received a certain error when they tried to run their program. And once somebody was brave enough to say, hey, something's wrong here, and then five other people in the room said, oh yeah, I have that error too. Um, my main uh, point here is that we need to realize and we need to be more welcoming uh, to questions. And when you're teaching somebody how to code, maybe the fact that they have nothing on their screen, maybe if you pressed undo a little bit, you would see that they had maybe lines and lines of code that may be on the right track. They just may have some compiler error somewhere around. Um, along that line, um, I think that when you are learning, um, learn how to test your code and ask questions on how to test and learning how to set up test environments. That was extremely helpful. Um, I'm still learning how to fail and how to fail correctly and how to learn from my mistakes. And I hope that people also like follow that journey and learn how to fail correctly. Thank you. <laughs>